Am I the asshole for refusing to watch my sister-in-law's child even though she had a meltdown? I, 33 female, have a daughter, 5 female. My sister-in-law, long-term partner of my stepbrother Jake, Tina, 34 female, has a daughter, Cassie, also 5 from a previous relationship. Every summer for the past few years, me, my step-siblings, and our partners have visited our parents at the holiday retreat that they run from anywhere between 4 to 7 weeks. You with me? This past summer, I was there for six weeks, and Jake and Tina were there for four. My husband was there for three weeks on and off due to work commitments, and I brought the nanny. During the third week, Jake and Tina were there. My husband and I decided to take my daughter on a day trip, as the nanny had the day off and we were going a little stir-crazy. We told everyone at breakfast, and afterwards when it was just the women at the table finishing our tea, Tina asked if we could take Cassie with us on our day out. I was very confused as to why Tina would ask this, as I have barely any interaction with Cassie. I find some of her behavior very off-putting, and I don't have a natural inclination towards children. And second, Tina and I don't know each other well enough that I'd ever consider asking her such a favor. I said no. It was just a family day out for the three of us, and presumed that would be the end of it. But Tina insisted. She begged me to take Cassie and said she hasn't had a break the whole summer. She's overwhelmed and would like to spend time with Jake. I said no again, and Tina asked if my nanny could watch Cassie for a few hours. But I told her it's the nanny's day off. Tina started to get tearful, saying she really thought that as a fellow mother I would understand needing a break, since I have someone employed for that very purpose. I didn't know what to say to that, so I just said goodbye to my mother and started to leave. And as I did, Tina burst into tears. My mother told me to go, and she would calm Tina down. When we came back later that evening, Tina wasn't at dinner, and my parents and Jake were babysitting Cassie. My mother said she had reached a compromise with Tina that they would watch Cassie for the evening so Tina could rest. They can't during the day as they are still actively running the retreat. The next day, Tina reappeared and everything was back to normal, though she was noticeably colder towards me, but it didn't bother me. A few days ago, we were discussing all getting together for Christmas in a group chat, and Tina said she was really looking forward to it, but that she hopes we could all be a bit more accommodating with the kids and that it takes a village. I just replied that I wouldn't be needing any accommodations, thanks, and the conversation moved on. My mother says while she understands why I said no, seeing the state Tina was in and the meltdown she had after I left, she would have said yes. She said I don't understand how tough it is because I have so much help. So, am I the asshole? I think there are different levels of assholery that we probably need to cover here. Ascon one level is there's no way in hell you should have done that. You're a terrible human being. OP isn't there. There's the Ascon two level, which is the you definitely shouldn't have done that, but it doesn't make you a terrible person. And I don't think OP is here either. There's the Ascon three level, which is you probably should have approached that differently. And I don't even think OP is there. Let's look at Ascon 4, which is you probably could have approached that differently, and maybe you're an asshole, maybe you're not. I think that's where OP is. OP is at Ascon 4. That's right, we just developed a new scale of assholery that will now be our standard that we live by moving forward, t-shirt incoming. I think OP is in Ascon 4 because she probably could have approached it differently or explained it differently, but I don't think she's an asshole. Here's why. I think the communication style tells us a lot about OP, and it's probably not the kind of person that you're going to have a touchy-feely conversation with, which means it's also not the kind of person that you can expect to understand when you show feelings. If anything, OP probably got uncomfortable with this and just wanted to escape from it. And if sister-in-law knows you well enough to know that about you, I don't think she She can expect you to be an asshole for not giving in when she had a breakdown or for taking this emotional load from her because it's not who OP is. OP isn't wired that way. 